What's going on, guys? I am WinterDroid, and welcome to Shovel Knight. Now, this is my next current series, and it's an amazing game. If you've never heard of Shovel Knight, then what are you, what are you doing? So, let's uh, get right into this. Start a new game. Whoops. Now, I am playing this on the PC using... A, an Xbox 360 controller. I have beaten this on the 3DS and now playing it on the PC. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by the legendary adventurers. We're not skipping this. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. <laughs> His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power. The Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Spooky. Now, the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Bum bum bum. And welcome to Shovel Knight Justice in Spades. So basically, this is a platforming game set in... You know, the same same style as, you know, it's one of those uh, games that are called Retro Revival Games. Okay, that was awful. Where you can, um, or it's basically like, supposed to be reminiscent of old retro NES, Sega Master System, Super Nintendo games. Somewhere along those lines. Where basically, you, it's, it's just a platforming game, like, like a lot of other games. But this game has heart, and it's got soul, and it's amazing. And it was funded on Kickstarter. Don't really know how much money it uh, raised, but it made a lot of money. And I'm doing a Let's Play of it because it's a super fun game. And I believe that it is one of the best games, as a lot of people are saying. A lot of people are putting it on their like best of 2014 uh, lists. And what's cool about this game is that money is very important. So you'll see this checkpoint, and I could either use it as a checkpoint or... Okay, I guess I can't... I can't do it with the first checkpoint. Never mind, what am I talking about? I didn't... I didn't say anything. I did... Nothing. Absolutely said nothing. You can't prove I said anything. That is a normal checkpoint. Absolutely normal. Okay, did I lose that money? Looks like I lost that money. But as you can... As you can see, one of the... Okay... One of the main um, factors, actually, is being able to bounce on your shovel, uh, you know, a la DuckTales. Very similar to uh, the original DuckTales video game, where, you know, you play as uh, friggin' what's-his-face? Scrooge McDuck, and you hop around on a cane, and it's cool. Also, another great thing about this game is that the music is freaking amazing you just here just 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 give it a listen just give it a listen now you tell me right now that that is not super freaking intense some of the uh, the songs in this game were actually done by one of the composers of some of the original Mega Man games which, you can really tell, it's got a very Mega Man style, like, just very intense and very fun. I'm, I'm apparently I'm bad at this game. Actually, no, yeah, I am bad at this game. It took me so long to beat this game. I mean, I was taking it slowly. I wasn't trying to beat it in, like, two seconds, but it took me a long-ass time to beat this game. Like, I'm bad at this game. But, doing uh, videos about it, because it's still fun. And it's that's what this is about. I'm I'm here to have fun. I don't know about you. 
I don't know. You're probably just here to friggin' see somebody play this game, which is what I'm here to do. Oh, you can't hide from me, money. Yeah, so we're gonna be collecting a lot of money because there's a lot of stuff to buy from items to uh, new suits of armor to new shovels to something else, probably. Slightly less important. Can I? Nope, can't get that. Rip. Lost some money. And you know, you gotta, you gotta always, the best, we're really, um, like, I mean, yeah, I, I've wanted to do a let's play of this, but, you know, obviously I can't record for my 3DS, but I was like, ah, I'll just get the PC version. What really made me want to do this was actually the, um, if you guys, you guys probably know what AGDQ is, I would assume, but if you don't, it's basically this live stream that, uh, this Games Done Quick guys do, where they basically just have a bunch of people that speedrun games, and they speedrun games, and while they're doing that, people are donating money for the Prevent ca uh, bleh, Prevent Cancer Foundation, and it's really cool, and these they're cool guys, make, do some cool stuff, it's a good cause, but it's over now, but they did a live stream, or well, yeah, it is a live stream, but somebody did a speedrun of Shovel Knight, and that was awesome, and that just made me want to pick up the game and play it again. Which, as you can see, I'm kind of doing. Just a little bit. This is going to be like a pretty pretty casual series. I mean, all my videos are pretty casual. But I'm not going to be like trying to speedrun this or do anything super cool. Because I'm not, like I said before, I'm not like amazing at this game. Some of the things that those friggin' speedrunners do are insane. Like, I... I would love to be able to speedrun games, but I'm just not good enough at games to be able to speedrun things. I mean, and while on the topic of AGDQ, oh my god, those guys, there were people speedrunning uh, Tetris as Grandmaster. That game is freaking intense. I mean, I haven't played it, but probably because I'd lose in freaking two seconds. Maybe I'd last that long. Maybe, on a, on a freaking good day. Oh, as you can see, there are a lot of secrets in this game, like I, like I just did. I just broke, blew up that wall, and now we can go to this chest, break it, open it up, and get lots of money. So there's, there's you know, all kinds of gemstones and coins that give you the monies, to monies. But yeah, enough, enough about me just friggin' glorifying this game. Which it deserves. It deserves a lot of praise. It's an amazing game. A lot of people putting it on their... I think I already mentioned that. A lot of people are putting it on their top games of 2014 list. Somewhere. A lot are actually at the top. People really like this game. So as you can see, we got this dragon. We already kind of fought this the same guy. But he's going to shoot some bubbles that we can bounce on. Hit him on the head, basically. I died. Yep. I am dead. Now, when you die... You lose a bunch of money, and basically what you have to do is you have to go, you have to get it, or else basically it's lost. Every time you lose, like, 25% maybe? I don't know. Maybe 50. I think it's 25. I could be wrong. Like I said, I ain't no pro about this game. Okay, I almost just jumped right off. Yeah, but I, I died because I was trying to get that monies. Get them monies. Great, and all the money is gone. But I did get an apple. So that's, that's helpful. You can friggin' die. Alright, so... A lot of sweet platforming in this game. Uber. Uber good stuff. Alright. Basically, we just gonna hit all this dirt. Money's gonna come out. That's pretty much what this game is. Dirt and money. Lots of that. It's very, very common uh, motifs in Shovel Knight. Dirt equals... Maybe it's like a, you know, a metaphor. Like, one man's trash is another man's treasure. This is all just piles of friggin' crap and dirt. But no, this is... This is Shovel Knight's treasure, man. This is his adventure. Now, I'm not gonna be doing a... 100% run of this game because I'd go insane and die Like trying to find all the chests and getting everything. Whoa 
because I I literally die. I can't handle that kind of stuff. My throat is dying right now. Hold on one sec. All right. Uh, sorry about that. My throat was dying. You could probably hear it in my voice. Maybe not. I don't really know how my voice works. All I know is that my throat was friggin' dying. Couldn't talk. And I needed some water, which I had. And this is the first protagonist of the game, Black Knight. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! So this is basically the first boss of the game. It's not... okay. I was about to say it's not very hard, and of course I'm about to say that as soon as he hits me, and I can't hit him also, apparently. It's, you know, fairly basic. Nothing, nothing much. He runs around and he hits you with a shovel. And he shoots lasers out of his shovel. That also. Yeah, apparently I, I can't hit jumps either. This guy's just a friggin' jerk. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm getting destroyed by this guy. Remember when I said he was easy? I'm an idiot, apparently. Because I can't win. This is the first boss fight of the game. Boss fight of the game and I can't win. Take one more hit and I'm boned. All right. Nope. Yeah, I'm I'm terrible. I said I was. I haven't played for a while. That's that's why I'm doing bad. I haven't played Shovel Knight in a long time. I mean, I'm I'm obviously really good at this game. I'm just not you know in the in the groove right now. I can. I mean, my control is a little wonky. I'm not really in the groove right now. It's like it's the game's fault. None of it's my fault. Roger, this time I'm gonna friggin' like destroy him without taking any damage. Something dumb like that. Okay, maybe not that. Maybe not that exactly. I think I'm going way too in-depth on this. I just gotta hit him before he hits me, really. That's my problem. I'm not hitting him enough, and he's hitting me more. He's hitting me more than I'm hitting him, and that's the issue. I'm gonna die again. I'm, I'm calling it right friggin' now. Unless I can hit him three times before he hits me one time. Yep, nope. I walked into him. Why am I bad? I'm, I don't know. I'm pff, really stupid apparently though. Okay, can we can we do this please? Is that is that too much to ask? I hate this guy. This shouldn't be hard. Oh my gosh. If I'm having freaking trouble with Black Knight, good game. The rest of this game is literally a thousand and twelve times harder. So just the fact that I'm having trouble with this. I mean, I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm trying. I think the real problem is that I'm going. I'm trying like way too hard with this. I'm trying to hit him from above, like I'll well, just bounce on him, get a freaking combo. But no, all I really have to do is hit him a bunch of times with a shovel. When did that become a freaking challenge? Hitting a guy in the head with a shovel. I mean, he's obviously more skilled in... Sh no, he's not more skilled in chivalry. Screw that. All right, so I have one life. He has one... Thank you. Jeez. Both had freaking one hit left. Yeah, shovels. Now what? Get out of here. You're the worst. Boo. You're dumb. Ugh. Chilling by the campfire. Ah, having a good time. Awesome music, of course. It's what this game is all about. Shield Knight. <gasps> now this is really cool. This is a, like a dream sequence thing. Shield Knight! You gotta catch Shield Knight! Oh, saved her. I did it. No. Shield Knight. Now you gotta wake yourself up just by pressing buttons. You actually, you get money if you put out the fire. 
And I got a feat. AKA an achievement thing. So, as you can see, we now enter the Ovo world. And I'm going to explain all of this next time. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Shovel Knight. And I'll see you in the next one.